All right, so we did our second multiple mass problem. And so again, we're following those same steps as we did in the first one. So I got to identify the direction of acceleration, make it positive. So looking at this, these two are going to accelerate this direction. So this direction is the acceleration's positive, and this is the direction of acceleration positive. After I identify my accelerations, I need to generate my free body diagrams. And one thing here just to note, um, I noticed 375 newtons, that is what mg is. So don't plug that 375 in for mass, it is what mg is there. Um, so you might need to divide this by 9.8 to find mass one when we generate our equations because over here I'm gonna get the sum of the forces and the x equals m1a. So in order to find that m1, you are gonna have to divide that number by 9.8. All right, so here I just have tension equals M1A. Over here, I end up with down as my positive direction, so I have M2G minus tension equals M2A. So I have my two equations. Tension is positive, tension is negative. Good, that's my third law pair. They need to be opposite and equal. And then I need to essentially find tension, substitute it in, solve for acceleration. And this does have an extra problem at the end. It is a 1D motion problem. So I'm gonna take that acceleration from my force problem, list my variables, pick an equation, solve that 1D motion problem. The answers are right below the problem. Uh, hope you had good luck on that.